Hello everyone from Tony the Scarred Ghost. I just got a new package from Pico with a special cable to use with the Pico Neo 3 Pro. Let's open it together. This is the package arrived from Pico with a special cable inside. So let's open it. I don't know if they have sent me like a package with just the cable. If there is like the official packaging, so let's see. Oh, they sent me the official packaging, so that's amazing. Here you are. DisplayPort cable for Pico Neo 3 Pro Series. Here are some data about it, Pico and blah blah blah. Okay, so let's throw away the box and let's open this. Okay, so I removed all the, the plastic, the wrapping plastic. And let's see how it can open. So I guess it's this way. Let's open it. It's very tight. All right. So, wow. So, actually, here there is something. It is folded. So, here you are the instructions. In Chinese, it's Chinese and English, so that's good news. I love to practice my Mandarin, but maybe not today. So here we have the cable, so this is I guess only to put it inside the box. Actually there are lots of parts of this, paper, of this thing, so let's see all of them. So here we have display part, here we have USB and on the other side there is USB-C. So I guess this is one that goes on the headset. Here you have something like the splitting box. I still don't know what it is, this cable. This looks like this kind of audio or video plug or maybe power, I don't know yet. This is just a very long cable. And then there is this little box with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> with nothing inside and that's okay here you have the covers of the I guess the covers of these two cables that I removed while opening the box here we have a screwdriver so thanks Pico that's a good thing and here nothing else so you see there's nothing this was just to keep the cable inside the box can put it this way so now the the question is how does this work so this goes into the PC and this one goes here into this there is this port with this little D and it looks like a USB-C port and you can put it this way and notice that there is a screw that's why there is a screwdriver and you may ask me, why do I need the screw? Why do I need to attach this with a screw to the headset? Because have you ever played with the Oculus Link and at a certain time the cable goes away or bends or whatever, you lose the connection? Well, this is a problem in enterprise settings. This can happen. So Pico has decided to give you a screw. So the connection is super stable. It can detach from the PC because you have you know, you have already two parts attached and a screw to keep the USB-C very, very firm on the headset. So this is how it works. So I was trying to look here if there is an instruction here. Actually, I'm, I'm looking the instruction here and this little thing is part of the cable according to them. So it's made to fix this kind of thing 
to the oh, there is also a place here so is able to um, is used to use cable clip yeah to fix on sideband so uh, okay, okay okay got it now you attach it here you f you touch this here and then i guess you use this to fix the 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 cable around the this part this way so the, the cable doesn't get doesn't go over your head so it's all fixed in place and it's very comfortable for you so this is another super smart solution that's that's amazing so this one reading the guide is to use a power adapter 5 volt 12 volt it is not included in the package you have to purchase it separately i guess so that um, it can give power continuously to the headset to recharge it so you can use it for many hours because there is power supply to the headset i guess that's the reasoning for this cable because otherwise it works even without the power adapter in fact it is not included in the package so um, let's mount it actually let's see how it it looks like so let me open it here and this one goes this way and I close the screw this looks like those screwdrivers for little kids so this kind of toys <laughs> okay so I don't close so much see how firm it is now so I guess this one goes this way so I press here then here okay so I use this you know you see to open it a bit to bend it a bit so that I can apply it here and okay it's not so now it's like this you notice that the cable is managed incredibly well and now I can attach this to my PC to have a PC VR headset. So to try this new hardware, I'm going to Pico website and download the Pico VR streaming assistant DP special edition on my PC and then I'm going to install it. Okay, let's install it. Let's launch it. Okay, English, microphone. And now it's time for me to actually turn on the headset. So let me turn on the camera so that you can see me. Now you can see me have the Pico, you see, with a special cable. So let me turn it on. I guess it's important to make it work. And let me take this quite long cable actually. So I'm having at the end I remove it the I'm covering the two parts and I'll attach it then behind my PC. I attach it then and so you can see that the we have a we have uh, two green marks close to USB and DP connection. So let me put my Pico on my head. Okay, it's weird that I see everything as black. So let me try to launch SteamVR to see if things get better. 
Okay, so now there's been a cut in the video. What's happened is that I went on with this headset being not properly recognized by SteamVR. I was having some problems, you no know, uh, VR mirroring, no room setup, blah blah blah. Then it has happened that after this test, actually I saw dialogue saying that SteamVR should have been rebooted for the Pico Neo 3 driver. So I rebooted SteamVR. And I was able to perform the calibration, see the VR, etc. etc. So I recommend you in case you use this as well to re make it install the drive driver, it happens automatically. I have not done anything, and then reboot SteamVR. Otherwise, it doesn't work properly. So now as you can see, I have managed to make my room setup. And I let you show what I see in VR. So now I have the VR view. Before installing the driver, I had no it. And I'm entering the home environment. So these are my first impressions. So, the, wow. The visual quality is incredible. Really incredible. The, you know that this headset has a very high resolution display so uh, it's like 4k and I see amazing visuals and I have to say that since I see this environment a lot also the quest with the link is much better I don't know how to describe it it's like it feels more refined so all this kind of you know slight compression that the quest applies for the link is not present here. So I can see with exact precision all the textures. The movement is very fluid because there is no compression of the link, etc. It's like I'm directly connected with the display port. This environment feels as rich, I don't know, as when I wore the index. It's really incredible. I couldn't believe it because with the uh, with the link, I think it was you know more or less the same than with the headset, but this is much better. And trust me, I wouldn't say this if it wasn't that noticeable. It is much better. I can see my computer is plotting the full resolution of the device. So this is for the pros. The pro, wow, well, it's incredible. The other pro is that it feels very fluid, very reactive because it explores you know all the um, frequency of the display of the headset, there are no like compressions, delays, etc. So it feels very, very fluid and very rich. And now let's come to the cons. The first con is that you know the visuals feel I don't know how to explain it a bit off, a bit like smaller than it should be. It's like there is some kind of distortion. Also, if I move my head, I have the same distortion that I have in the home environment of the Pico. So it's like couple is win. I can see all the environment deforming with my movements of the head. And also, I see that something in the dimension is not okay. So it's like this home that I have in front of me is smaller than it should be but it's like an impression I can't say you what is smaller so there's something off there is something off with the distortion of the lenses I don't know if there's a problem with the Pico I told you that there was this kind of Google Zoom also in the home environment or there is this kind of problem with the communication between SteamVR and the Pico Neo 3 and it's incredible there is a notice that SteamVR is already the 3D model of the Pico Neo 3 controller and what I want to say is that you can't see this, but the real controller is bigger than this virtual representation. So it's like everything is a bit smaller than it should be. Uh, I hope this problem will be fixed pretty soon because for the rest, it's incredible. So really, this mode, uh, this new mode of using a standalone headset as a PC headset is fantastic. So what are my final impressions on the DisplayPort cable for the Pico Neo 3 Pro? Well, I think it's a very good product. I mean, 
I I was surprised that it works so better than the Oculus Link. So I noticed the difference. I noticed that this could exploit the full resolution of the device and also was faster, more reactive, more everything. So also it's quite long as a cable. It's resisting. It's very resistant because it is screwed on the device. So it's amazing. Uh, it is. Not perfect for what concerns those distortions that I had on SteamVR. They were pretty disappointing also, you know, the pimple swing while rotating my head. I think Pico should update this, solve this problem with a software update in the upcoming months. But I think, you know, the Oculus Link is probably still more user-friendly because you don't have to screw anything, you have to just attach one cable, the USB one, you don't have to mess with display port if you don't have a display port. But if you have the right setup and you want to use it an enterprise device, you want to be, you may not enterprise, you want to be a prosumer, you want to stable it, using it as a PCR headset, because once you have screwed it, of course, if you, you know, to use it as standalone, to remove the cable is pretty long and heavy, so you have to remove it by unscrewing it, removing the script, blah, blah, blah. So this is really fault for, I mean, I want to use this as PCR headset for one day, I screw it and works perfectly. If you have the right PC to support its resolution. Uh, so a bit more prosumer, a bit less user friendly, but really high quality. I was very, very surprised every time. I really liked it. So the review is over. Hope you liked this video. If this is the case, please like, subscribe, uh, share this video with all your friends so to make me happy. And I wish you a great day in VR. Bye bye.